Hello everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I just went through my ritual of getting ready for this video. My husband, he thinks I'm crazy. He, in fact, he said crazy, crazy, crazy. But what I did, what I do yeah. first is I, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, you did. What I do first is I get the camera. I shut a door. I check my hair because I don't look at it all day long. And then I put a little lipstick on and then I thought, well, maybe I better check my teeth to make sure there's nothing in my teeth because I did eat. I had some boiled eggs. I made some deviled eggs and I picked a pepper out of the garden and I ate that. I'm going to tell you about my teeth. But first, let's look at the chickens. Okay. <laughs> they adorable you know that rooster is the one that I'm not keeping he's beautiful but I'm not gonna keep him I did call my brother and I know Bob I should eat him myself but I'm not going to um, I did call my brother and he said when he gets a chance he'll come down and get the, the rooster but um, okay now about my teeth I this morning when I woke up my mouth felt fine it always feels fine in the morning and then as the day goes on, as I start to eat something, then my mouth will start to hurt. Well, I called the dentist. I called him at 8 o'clock this morning. And I said to them that I'm calling because that crown that they put on is still just not quite right. I said, my mouth doesn't hurt right now, but by the end of the day, it's throbbing. It's, it's, it hurts. So she said, well, can you come in at... 8.40 or 11 o'clock. Well, I chose the 8.40, even though I know I'm supposed to go to the gym at 8.30. But I wanted to get this tooth taken care of. So I went to the dentist, and when I got there, I apologized for having to come back so many times because this tooth, I, I retired in May, the 3rd of May, and it was before the month was even out, I was at the dentist for one another tooth. And then before long, this tooth was giving me trouble. And so the month of May and June were spent getting things done on my teeth. And um, the, then I had to go back because there was an infection. They gave me an antibiotic. And thank goodness for my insurance. The, the, <laughs> the medicine was so much cheaper. The first time I paid $47 for it because I didn't have the, um, the drug insurance. Then the next time I went, it was, I think, $4 and something, $4.80, something like that. So they really jack that darn price up if they can give it to you for that cheap. Well, anyways, where was I at? I was forgotten how where I was going. I, what did I say last? Had your, you got your. Uh, you see, he wasn't even eye. listening. <laughs> he wasn't listening because he figures he'll hear this a thousand times over when I put it on the computer. Well, yeah. I called Broke. the. I went in and I apologized to the dentist that I had to come back, and he says, "No, that's fine." And so he says, "We're going to try to get this right." So. Um, he looked in my mouth and nothing was hitting the gums. I said, my gums don't hurt really when I, from hot and cold, which is a good sign because if it was hot and cold, then that means there was a nerve that was being, or an infection. Or an infection. And he took an x-ray. There's no infection. And he, um, had me chew on the 
carbon paper again and I said you know it's on this it's on the back side of that tooth I think is where it's hitting because I told him I thought maybe at night I clenched my mouth and that was what was causing it to hurt some mornings but I don't clench my teeth and um that I know of well I was kind of half sleeping half awake paying attention to my achy mouth so <laughs> He um, had me chew on the carbon paper, and he found that there is a high spot in the back. So he ground that down, and it felt like instant relief again. So he said, well, you know, it may hurt for a while, a few days, because it's like it's been bruising inside there. And with it banging on that spot constantly and every time I would chew the bru it would like bruise you know how you have a black and blue mark and you if you touch it it hurts until a certain point then it doesn't hurt anymore well that's what my tooth will probably do so right now it feels good I ate an egg and no pain now before if I would have eaten an egg that would have caused me such pain just eating an egg and there's nothing to an egg and I ate the bell pepper, and eh, that was so-so. I could feel that, but it was because it's bruised. Well, guess the, what he they did. They did not charge me again. I went in for this appointment. He ground my tooth, took an x-ray, and no charge. He says it was just like um, another check, checking this tooth. And hopefully, and he said to me that if I have to come back again, if I really if it's really still bothering and I want it pulled he will pull it for me which I have also had questions about people asking if I had a root canal no I didn't have a root canal I told them if there was going to be a root canal they were going to just pull the tooth because we used to go to Dr. Habig and he was actually the professor of root canals at the University of Buffalo's um, college he used to teach that and he said, when he was our dentist years ago, he said, if you ever have to have a root canal, chances are that tooth will end up getting pulled anyways. So he said to avoid root canals if at all possible, which I didn't want a root canal. And getting the crown was actually more than what I was planning on getting. Had the, this tooth acted up before the tooth I had pulled, this one would have been gone. But because I had the other one pulled, I decided I would try to keep this one. So that's why the crown was put on this one. So that's what happened today. Then I sat outside and watched my chickens. Those were the pictures you got to see. I thought, oh, aren't they so pretty just sitting just all along the yard? And then every time I come to the door, they come running up to the gate. They think I'm going to give them something. So I was actually kind of lucky to be able to catch them out in the field of the Frenston area without them running to come and see me. But I've sat in the sunshine. We had some sunshine today. I did wear my heavy sweater in the sunshine, but it was it was warmer and the sun felt so good. And my dog sat out there with me. He likes to sit in the sun too. And so that's what I did today. And oh, I did go to the gym. Yes, I did. Right after my dentist appointment, I went to the gym and I met some people. And one of the girls that was there, she, she said the same thing that this other guy said. He said that there's three reasons you go to a gym. He goes, you go there for cardio, you go there for strength, and you go for socializing. Well, today, I hit all three. I actually socialized. So it was a good trip. I, I got introduced to a few new people. And um, the funny part is they're all named Jim. <laughs> Except for the girls, of course. But Best name in the world. <laughs> and so it was easy to remember their name. And um, that was it. So you have a great night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.